uh, I just uh, go to the to the what we're doing. Uh, uh, as as uh, you can see, we're doing like a open source or open API controllers. If this one, okay. So the the blue boxes that you can see uh, at our table uh, on the marketplace. Uh, what it is is basically uh, uh, relays, digital inputs, outputs, analog analog inputs and outputs, and also another. Uh, communication interfaces like RS-485 for Modbus or, or DALI for light and, uh, and uh, other many many things. What it can be used to, we don't want to say like use it for home automation, use it for for logging. It's it's up to you. So there are just a few few uh, things uh, you can do with it. How it looks? So there is basically uh, a Raspberry Pi in it, but from discussion with uh, Ion uh, about 30 minutes ago. Uh, this may be subject to change. So, uh, if you're looking for a more industrial thing, then then it's uh, it's uh, our main topic right now. So there is a Raspberry Pi, uh, which provides the Ethernet and, and a USB port, and then there are the our part, the, the hardware part, what we're doing. There are uh, digital inputs and outputs, as you can see, and uh, and some analog basic things, but this is only the, the smallest model. The, in, the, uh, in the bigger versions, in the S, M, or L versions, uh, there are still the Raspberry Pi, but much more uh, digital inputs and outputs, and, and also uh, it provides a bigger uh, variety of the, of the, of the, of the IOs. Uh, this is just uh, like an overview of the models uh, that uh, that we provide right now. Uh, so you can see like uh, there can be in the, in the biggest version there is about 60, 60 in inputs or outputs. So uh, uh, really, really a lot of IOs, which can be extended by by the RS four A five using Modbus. Uh, then uh, I said that it's uh, open API. So the standard API is uh, is a TCP Modbus, and on top of it, we uh, we provide uh, different uh, or another services that can be used. Uh, and you can see like a WebSocket or MQTT uh, or uh, other web services. And this, the software, is all open source, available on GitHub, so anyone can uh, check it and see. Or if you're looking for different protocols, it can be easily added. So uh, that's uh, then we also uh, have uh, like our property uh, software customer solution, uh, which consists of three three like layers. The first layer is uh, uh, Windows application where you describe the behavior of the system, and the application is uploaded to the, to the controller to the UniPy. Then there is uh, of course the clouds are everywhere, so we provide. Uh, Cloud-based uh, database and also uh, nice like a viewer of the data you you want to collect, and of course also a SCADA system so you can uh, within a few hours uh, describe the pro the the, pro the the application, select data points you want to lock or you want to control. It can be temperature or it can be basically anything, and uh, view it uh, online within just a few hours. Uh, what we also uh, really like to do is that uh, from a small uh, amount of batches, we can provide the custom custom design of the of the case. So it doesn't have to be, uh, it doesn't have to look like UniPy Neuron. The, the case is still the same, but you can choose the color, you can choose the labeling, and then that's uh, that, that's that's our main goal. So you you can like sell it like your product. It doesn't have to look like a UniPy Neuron. Okay, so thank you for your attention, and uh, looking forward to meet you at our booth. Thanks, maybe. <laughs> yeah, you can show it. Yeah, yeah. That, that's it. But uh, this is the biggest version. But uh, we have much more uh, at our table. Thank you. <laughs>